Joe Easyco here. Uh, I'm building a Bedini SSG. I ordered a coil from Rick from Renaissance Charge. It's a uh, 900 windings, uh, bi filler, 23 and 26 gauge. I have a rotor that I made out of a scooter wheel, which I'm making other rotors too. Then I'm gonna try different sizes, different styles. Uh, it's four magnets. I'm trying to get the spacing where I can learn. The from what I understand, the spacing is important too. Uh, my circuit, I recycle when I can. All the wires recycled at a PC board. Or, uh, I'm sorry, PC power supply. So, uh, heat sink I recycle. Potentiometers recycled. Uh, I also, I like exotic energies. And I really think this is a great one. I really want to learn more about this. That's why I got the SSG coil. And I ordered some other stuff too. I'm trying to learn about this. Uh, I'm really fascinated with a lot of this stuff. I'm so happy that a lot of you guys open source all this stuff so you can learn. It's the best way I've ever learned is by hands on and looking around. And electronics, I didn't know anything about them. When I first made the first, I tried to make a self generating resonance coil from uh, Guru to You, it was uh, his YouTube name. Brilliant man, very brilliant. Uh, I learned, I, <laughs> I made some mistakes along the way. I learned from them. I blew a few capacitors up, transistors, so I'm learning. I guess I guess it's the best way to learn, uh, as long as I don't fry myself. Uh, zero fossil fuel, love him. Uh, Rick, Freed, John Perdini, Nikola Tesla, fantastic. It's it's just amazing what's out there. It's just amazing that the the stuff that's actually out there that works, and they just choke it up and they don't let it out. But uh, I would really like to try to get together with some kids and start getting some kids into this. If I get enough like five or six ten year olds, and they got into this in a year, I wonder I wonder what they would do with this in a year or two years. How how this would grow? We would I would, I have no idea. Expense you know. This thing would expand, how fast it would expand, like a virus, if you can get them into it. Uh, I'm really fascinated with everything here. I understand the concept. I just can't wait to charge these batteries up. I gotta get some batteries too. I didn't even get the batteries. I was building the circuit and all that and playing around today. Uh, making a rotor. So I gotta get some batteries. I just want to see what's gonna happen. Batter charging these up. I want to see how fast they charge. Would this take the place of solar during the night? Would you use this back to charge a second set of batteries up during the night from solar if you used them during the day? I have a friend that's having problems with solar, so I'm going to find out about that and look into this a little more. And uh, I'm just having a great time. I'm learning. I'm enjoying it. It's, it's, I think it's one of the greatest things in the world is to open up anything you want to just go to YouTube. I'm fascinated, especially with the free, uh, exotic energy. Sterling Allen. Oh, that's a name I forgot. Sterling, you're doing a great job, Sterling Allen. You're, it's amazing the stuff that you're covering and you're bringing it into the light, Sterling. I really appreciate a lot of stuff that you do. And I like your dad's house. So, uh, yeah, thank everybody from YouTube. Thanks for open sourcing. Thanks for sharing. If I learn anything, I will open source. I will share it. I Just forgive me for my the way this looks. I put it together. <laughs> And uh, I just try to get it where I can just hold up and work with it a little bit. So forgive me for what it looks like. So you guys have a great night. Happy holidays.